Hey everyone, John here from support at schooloftrade.com and today we're going to be talking about ATR stop losses. Uh, now there's a lot of different ways that uh, different indicators and different people use ATR stop losses, uh, but one of the most basic ways that you can do it uh, is to basically just load up an ATR on your chart, uh, which you can do that in NinjaTrader by right clicking on the chart, going to indicators, uh, and then basically finding ATR in your list. Uh, and then adding it to the chart. Now in this case the default is going to be 14. Um, this can change depending on uh, whether you want faster or slower time frames uh, based on this ATR. Uh, I know a lot of people are big fans of FIB numbers, so you could change this to 13 instead or 21, uh, anything like that. But uh, once you change you can click OK. Uh, and basically the way that an ATR stop loss is going to work uh, is you take this ATR at the bottom of the chart here, uh, and you take the value on the right side. So in this case right now, uh, this is crude oil 0813 on a five minute chart. Uh, and over the past five minutes, the average range of these five minute candles has been 21 and a half ticks. Uh, so what you can do with that is saying, okay, well if the average is 21 and a half ticks, uh, what do I need to do, or where do I need to put my stop to be safe? Uh, so in this case, what you can do is take the 21 and a half, uh, and now this is where it kind of varies. Uh, you can times it by two. Uh, so in this case, you'd be doing 43 ticks, and that's where your stop is. Uh, so you'd put your tick, you would put your stop 43 ticks away, and it's double the ATR. Um, other people use uh, Fibonacci values. So if you want, uh, say right now it's at 21 and a half, and you want to use Fibonacci, you can take that uh, 21.5 basically, and times by, uh, as an example, one of the common Fib numbers, uh, times it by 1.618, our favorite Fib. Uh, hit enter. So now you want it to be 34.787 ticks away, or 35 ticks. Um, and basically what you would do is you're using this as kind of a way to, you know, ratchet up your stop. So every time the market moves higher and higher and higher in this case if you're long, you take the ATR and you mul use your multiplication however you want to multiply it, and then you can just kind of slowly trail your stop up. Uh, now, that's the basics of an ATR stop loss, and as I said, there's a lot of indicators out there that are basically created around this concept. Uh, but if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to support at schooloftrade.com, and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Have a good one.